And yeah. you mentioned keeping up with the Kardashians, Caitlin. Oh my gosh, I love looking back at the old episodes. Why was now the right time, you think, for everybody to say goodbye to that? First of all, I think everybody's life has kind of has moved on. They're all business women. Um, uh, they've done over 500 episodes. Uh, what is it, like 14 years? Kendall and Kylie grew up on the show, you know? Um, uh, they all have their own lives. Um, it can't, it's just a good time to kind of put it to bed. Nothing in this, as you know, nothing in television lasts forever. Yeah. Okay. And this lasted probably the most successful reality show ever put out there. And um, I'm very proud of them for what they were able to accomplish. But I think they're all kind of ready to move on. I, from what I hear, I talked to the producer the other day that they're shooting through November. And so that'll technically be the end of shooting. Yeah. So they got a few months left. Enjoy them. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But the early episodes, Caitlin, when I look, I mean, you were the most famous. I mean, at the very first episode that aired, you were highlighted. You were the most famous of the bunch. Do you go back and watch any of the old episodes? Actually, I did. I did a spot on um, uh, for my YouTube channel. Just uh, they aired this last week, where I did kind of a, a, a throwback to the early versions of the show and what was going on. Um, what's amazing, you know, Courtney, Kimberly, Chloe. Yes, they've grown up somewhat on the show, but they were a little bit more grown up. The ones were Kendall and Kylie. I think oh. Kylie was like nine. Kendall was like 10, 11. They were just little kids. And at first, to be honest with you, they really didn't want to do the show. They, you know, they were going, I don't want to do this. But as time went on, they started getting into it a little bit more and uh, then became obviously an integral part in this. But to watch them grow up as young women, it's pretty been a, pretty much amazing. Um, the most amazing thing, I think, of the show I remember when the first uh, started doing it, Ryan Seacrest was the, uh, his production company was doing it. And I remember him saying to the family and particularly to Kim, you have to get on Twitter. And we, we all look um, at each other and go, what is Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we didn't know, and of course, you know, Kim and them, you know, oh, okay, we'll do, we'll get on Twitter. What is social media? Besides the show and the success of the show, the success of these girls with social media, they started kind of from the beginning of it over, over the last 14 years and have built massive businesses. They've been smart. Uh, they use it very, very well. I don't think there's any family that's more successful yeah. on social media. I mean, you can today, you can actually sit on the couch and reach a half a billion people. Incredible. And get endorsements, make it rain to boot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they've, yeah, no, they've been very smart in that department. It's a business. Yeah. It is a business. But just the reach that the family has is just unbelievable. Caitlin, I was sad when you sort of weren't on the show um, as much and then sort of not at all. What did that feel like for you? Did you miss it during that time? I've always missed doing the show. I have to say that some of the best conversations I had with my kids, when you do a show like this, you're kind of forced to talk. Yeah. Now, um, in real life, you're going to put it off. You're going to put that conversation off with your kids because it's a little uncomfortable or this or that. And you kind of let it slide. When the show's shooting, you can't put it off. You got to kind of meet it head on. And I had some of the best and closest conversations with my kids on that show than uh, you can imagine. Uh, not anymore. Um, you're more distant. I'm kind of like any parent who... I'm, my mother complains to me about it, um, who um, 
you know, you're, you're with your kids 24 hours a day for years and years and years and years. And all of a sudden you teach them to go out and into the world. And then all of a sudden they go out into the world and build their own lives. And those days aren't around anymore. Well, you're there all the time. You hope everything you taught them yeah. works out and they're good citizens and good people. And in my case, I've been very fortunate they are. Um, but you miss the day-to-day -day closeness with your kids, you know? That's like my mom is 94. And uh, I call her every night, you know, because she lives up in Idaho. In fact, I just went to Idaho two days ago and sat down with her for four hours. Oh, I love that, Caitlin. Talking about life, you know? And she's still at 94, sharp as a whip, remembers everything for my channel. Yeah. And... Uh, I wanted to get all of that on tape. I love that. And so mom talks about everything. Life, where she met my dad. Oh. She was married three times. Um, all the loves of her life. Where were you when Pearl Harbor happened? And she can tell you exactly what happened. She was born right at the beginning of the Depression, going through the Depression. I mean... I love, I can't wait to watch that. Just, I love that wisdom. Yeah. No, oh, I know. I love, yeah. And so anyway, um, yeah, we're actually, we we're editing it this morning. Very mm -hmm. excited. Yeah, I got I just love, I feel like you were that so practical on the show and you must get it from your mom, all the good advice that you give out. Have you given Kim any advice with everything going on with Kanye and, and sort of their relationship? <laughs> um, uh, I do talk to Kim. Kim is extraordinarily strong. Yeah. She's probably out of all of the girls, the one I worry about the least. Um, uh, and I think she's doing a wonderful job. Um, is when you have any relationship is, and it's not going quite the way you wanted it to go. Is it tough? Yeah. Um, but she's so strong and she loves her kids to death. And that's where she's spending all her time uh, with her family. And, um, you know, good for her. Good for her. But I don't, like the old days, talk to her on, you know, personally about a lot of that stuff. I, I, I kind of see it more from the outside, you know. But she knows I'm there for her. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the good part. I mean, we do text back and forth and we talk. Uh, she called the other day, actually, when I launched the YouTube channel and say how much she liked it. So, uh, yeah. It's good if you stuff. worry about Kim the least, who do you worry about the most? Me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just me. Um, no. Um, honestly, I don't worry about any of my kids. That's a nice thing for a parent to say. Oh, yeah. Um, they all, even the ones that weren't on the show, on the Jenner side. Yeah. Every kid has been extraordinarily successful, has had tremendous work ethics. I think every one of them are good people, you know, good citizens. Yeah. And so I don't have to worry about them. I love thinking I, of- I, I would hope they would worry about me, but that's- <laughs> I've got three. I'm, I hope they even think of me. If I pop in their mind, I, I would take that. What are their bed. ages? Uh, 18, 17, and 13. I just took my oldest to college and it resonated what you said. You Ooh. sent them off. Yeah. And hope that everything- How was mama? And it's still, I'm doing okay. It's, um, it's different, right? I feel like I sort of, my right arm feels like it's gone, but she needs to fly, Caitlin. You know this oh, better than yeah. anybody. Yeah. 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 Where's she going to school? Wisconsin. So I got a badger. Oh, all the way off in Wisconsin. Yeah. I was a college athlete, so it kept me out of a little trouble. So I'm telling her just, just study and, and try to stay focused a little bit. I was going to say, is she in athletics? She's not. And I like that for you and me. I just feel like it gives you guidance, you know? I mean, oh, I yeah. Oh, I totally agree. Yeah. I, so much of my life is because of athletics. Right? Yeah. They don't it's give you anything in sports. You got to yeah. earn it. And, and think about the Olympics, Caitlin. 
I couldn't wait to talk to you. Think about everybody preparing and you have to put it off a whole year. What would that have done to you? Uh, would have killed me. Uh, I was actually very lucky. 76, obviously everything went out on time. But people would ask me all the time, what if you would, would, you, would you, I retired that day. What if yeah. you would have stayed around for another four years? Four years later, 1980, the games canceled for us. Yeah. We boycotted them. Yeah. You know? And all my friends who were still in the game, I was so disappointed for them. I have one friend uh, now that for the last year, uh, Danielle Kang, she's a professional golfer. She's number, actually number oh, yeah. two in the world right now. Yeah. She's been incredible. Oh, yeah. And she, we've been friends since she was at Pepperdine. And I've watched her through her whole career. And I, I was telling her for a year, Danielle, you better make it on that Olympic team. Okay. And um, because it'll be the best thing you've ever done in your life. You go to golf tournaments. This isn't a golf term. This is the opening ceremonies. This is pageantry. This is the countries. It's so much bigger than, than in golf. And then they canceled it for a year. And I'm thinking, oh, because she was on the team. She was got the number two in the world. Now she's got to hold on to that for another year to make sure she qualifies next year. Um, it is, I understand why. Yeah. I, don't, I think the Olympics should be, the stand should be full of people. Yeah. It's hard the to watch color. this sport now. I'm grateful for it, but I miss the fans. Yeah. And I mean, I remember my first opening ceremonies, 1972 in Munich, and just walking into the stadium with the team and looking around and just the people that from everywhere in the world, you know, uh, you know, there's like 200 company countries represented from all over the world inside that stadium, the history behind the games, all that. people have to be in the stands. If it takes another year to do that, uh, then I'm all for it. Yeah, I'm wow. all for it. 